Hey kiddos, today we're going to talk about prepositions. Prepositions are words that show a relationship between a noun or pronoun and another word. The example I always give my kids is, hey kids, grab me that piece of paper. Well, if you've ever been in a classroom, which I know you guys have, if you remember, there's usually paper everywhere. But if I'm trying to find a specific piece of paper, I want to tell you the location of it. And for that, I need to use prepositions. Now, there's several types of prepositions, and each type serves a different function. Prepositions can show location or place. They can show movement, time, connection, device, or origin. So let's talk about location or place first. Prepositions that describe place or location, they describe where something is located in reference to another object. So for example, the cat is in the tree. Well, I know the location of the cat because of the preposition in, and I know that the preposition in tells me that the cat is in the tree. Marcus lives near our school. If I'm trying to figure out the location of Marcus's house, the preposition near tells me that it's close to our school. The library books are on the shelf. On tells me the location of the library books and they're on the shelf. Some common prepositions of place are above, against, at, atop, behind, below, beneath, beside, by, in, inside, near, on, outside, over, throughout, under, underneath, upon, and within. Some prepositions show movement. They describe how, where, or in what way something moves. So for example, they typically follow an action verb. Our friends walked to the park. Where did our friends walk? To the park. To is our preposition. <coughs> Julio ran across the classroom. Where did Julio run? Well, across tells us, is our preposition, and it tells us he ran across the classroom. That cat climbed up the tree. Up is our preposition, and it tells us where the cat climbed. Some common prepositions of movement are across, along, around, down, into, off, onto, over, past, through, <clears throat> throughout, to, toward, under, and up. You may notice that some of these were on the previous slide as well, and we're going to talk about that in just a minute. Prepositions of time describe when or for how long something occurred or will occur. Let's watch a movie after lunch. When are we going to watch that movie? After. After is our preposition telling us when. The movie starts in 10 minutes. How long before the movie starts? 10 minutes. In is our preposition in this sentence. And finally, we must leave at three o'clock. That tells us when we must leave. Common prepositions of time are after, at, before, by, during, for, and in, on, since, and until. Next, we have prepositions of connection. And they describe possession, relationships, or accompaniment. So for example, we saw the Statue of Liberty. It's the statue of what? Of Liberty. Of is our preposition telling us the relationship between the statue and what it stands for. The flowers are attractive to bees. Two is our preposition describing the possession of the attractiveness. I went to dinner with my sister. This shows accompaniment. 
who did you go to dinner with? With my sister. So about and for, to and with are common prepositions of connection. And without and of. Prepositions of device describe how something occurs by the use of technologies, machines, or devices. For example, my mom traveled by train. Well, this tells me what machine or what technology she used to travel. By is our preposition here. I opened the lock with the key. With is our preposition and it's telling me what device we used to open the lock. He typed his essay on my computer. Again, that tells me what device or technology I used to type. By, on, and with are three prepositions that are commonly used for this. And finally, we have prepositions of origin. They describe where a person or a thing comes from, like their nationality, a state, their hometown. So for example, my grandpa is from California. From is our preposition here, and it tells me where grandpa is orig originally from. The president of Mexico will visit us. Again, this tells me which president or the origin of the president. Of and from are the only two prepositions for this. So this, I said earlier that you might have seen some of the prepositions on the list twice. That's because the same preposition can serve different functions. For example, I could say Julio lives in Washington, D.C., and that tells me his location. Or I could use in as a time, and I can say the play begins in one hour. The preposition on is another example of this. My birthday is on Wednesday. Well, on tells us the time. Or it could also tell us the location or the place. The book is on the shelf. You guys are going to practice this in Seesaw, and you're going to be determining what type of preposition you are finding in the sentence. 